So it looks like Wendy Williams is actively working on her new podcast. And now she's claiming that she probably will make a lot more money than she would have on her TV show, The Wendy Williams Show. Welcome back to the Campfire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So I feel like anytime I'm on live and you guys ask me about Wendy Williams, a story comes out the next day. Well, in an exclusive from TMZ, they're reporting on the details of this new podcast that Wendy Williams has in the works. They even caught up with Wendy Williams going into her home, which is kind of weird. I, I'm real particular about who's even in front of my home or in my home, never mind hanging outside my home. But I get it, paparazzi, you gotta make money, and she understands that. But before we get into what Wendy Williams' podcast will look like and sound like and who will be on it, let's talk about Wendy Williams and what she said to the paparazzi outside her home. Yes, it's okay. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. Okay. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? Hi, uh, very well, thanks. That's good. Any new projects you're working on now that your show's over? Oh, excuse me. I love Mort and Ira, and we bowed out gracefully. All right. Anything else? Uh, podcast, of course. Okay. Which will make more money for me than doing the TV show. That's great. Right? First of all, Wendy has been looking really good. She has been looking really good. Even her gait, meaning the way that she walks, she's not needing the assistance of anyone else, as you may have seen over the years. She looks good. She sounds good. Does she seem 100%? No, not necessarily. But you know we're rooting for Wendy, and that could be for a variety of different reasons. But it seems as if she had this sort of script to tell paparazzi and press if asked about the podcast. And she basically said that the owners of Debmar Mercury, we, we ended things amicably. But it's the side face for me. It's the sort of like, we ended things amicably. I wish the paparazzi would have asked about the purple chair, the wigs, the memorabilia, what's happening with those things. The last that we reported is that those things were going to be thrown out. And I said, um, first of all, they shouldn't be thrown out. Production should be sending that to at least a museum or packaging that stuff up and sending it to Wendy for her to decide on what she wants to do with that. That's the question I want to ask. But as you know, we've been reporting on a podcast deal for a few months now. And a lot of people have said, oh, it's going to be in the $100 million range. But the people that have denied this have said, Wendy Williams right now is not insurable. But it also feels like to me that this is a battle of the publicists. The Dubmar Mercury and production publicists and Wendy Williams' own publicists and trying to spin a certain narrative. Also, Wells Fargo's publicists. Because as you know, the last time we reported on the Wells Fargo situation, they were saying by July, Wendy could have her, you know, ownership of all of her money again. As you know, literally right now, Wendy Williams is has a third party, a financial guardianship over her money. And her attorney reported and said, she does not want that. She is fine handling her money herself. No update on what's going on with the Wells Fargo situation, at least when it comes to Wendy Williams. Wells Fargo, though, has been in the news a lot lately. Google schmoogle. You might want to know what's going on if you're banking with them. But let's talk about this podcast deal. So this is what they are reporting in regards to the podcast deal. So TMZ says, Wendy Williams is already putting television in her rear view, having decided podcasting is a better fit. And a lot of you have said that as well. But she's already lining up big names, all right? So even though her daytime talk show um, was one of the most popular in, the, in its 13th season run, Wendy has no interest in being on TV full time, despite in a recent interview with Fat Joe saying that I'm going to be returning to my talk show. According to her new manager, Will Selby, this is what he's saying. Will is executive producing Wendy's upcoming podcast and tells, tells us Wendy recently spoke to Snoop Dogg and Fat Joe about being guests as she's planning to focus more on her own personal favorites from the music world where she originated. In addition, we're told Wendy had convos with the Kardashians and even a member of the Trump family. <laughs> 
Wendy's Wendy Williams manager is not saying which one, but any of them would be a huge get considering what's going on in Washington. TMZ continues, they say, we, we got Wendy Wendy in New York City in May and she vowed that she would be back on TV, but we're told she's no longer, we're told that's no longer her passion. Instead, she's focused on producing a podcast that's the full Wendy experience, all about her favorite artists, fashions, food, and celebs. On the business end of things, Will, her, her new manager, says Wendy's trying to decide if she's going to partner with a single platform, be it Spotify or an Apple, or just release it independently. No timetable yet for the podcast debut. By the way, we're told Wendy's not swearing off TV altogether. She'd still be open to doing appearances on talk or reality shows like The View or The Real Housewives series. This sounds a little all over the place. And it, and again, it sounds like a PR machine trying to spin the narrative. I'm not saying that a podcast for Wendy Williams wouldn't be lucrative. Look at Joe Rogan. He made, at the time, people were reporting $100 million. After the controversy with Joe Rogan happened recently, it was revealed, allegedly, that he made actually twice as much as what was being reported. So there is a lot of money there. But as I reported to you before... People were saying that Wendy Williams is not insurable. So an iTunes, an Apple, or a Spotify right now probably wouldn't want to invest in a Wendy Williams because of the rumors, okay? And because of the rumors, unless they have a meeting with her and they can see for themselves. All of that being said, she might be better off proving herself by doing it independently. And she can literally, I know there's no timetable right now, she could literally decide today, record something, Get the right producer. Where's Artie? Remember Artie? If you listen to radio, you know who I'm talking about. Produce that. Put it out as a feeler. And first of all, people would download that in a second. It would crash the internet. Okay? And with a podcast, it's not live. You could, rec you could record it when she is in, you know, in the right mood, when she's feeling good. All of that is editable. So a podcast really could work for Wendy Williams. I hope, though, Will Selby, her new manager, I know you're watching, do us a favor. Don't let it just be a podcast. If you're trying to push her out there for TV and TV appearances, make that a YouTube. Make that a visual podcast as well, like we have. Subscribe, y'all. Kempire Radio on YouTube and the podcast. Shameless plug. Whatever. We want to see both. Podcasts are changing. It's not just the audio experience. It's also a visual experience. So we still need both. And you can edit both. Live TV, live broadcasts like we do here on the channel aren't for everyone. And yes, Wendy did it for a very long time. But people's physical health, people, what they want to do, being on, on it is not always the same over the years. And some, and some days... When I go live, I'm like, oh, can I do this today? Can I go live today? And then when I get, when the, the, ca the camera's going and you guys are in, in the live chat, I'm like, all right, I'm ready to go. But that's not going to be the same for everyone, even myself. There were people scared of Wendy, coming on the Wendy Williams show. There were people scared to be on the Wendy Williams radio show. But those people have since come around. And there were still people, she still was able to get guests. But Wendy Williams doesn't need guests. Yes, this is great. You get the Kardashian, blah, blah. Wendy Williams doesn't need guests. Wendy Williams just talking on the mic, uninterrupted. Trust and believe, there are already advertisers. She doesn't need an iTunes or there are plenty of advertisers to be like, I want to be a part of that. How much How much are you going to charge for some space on, on your podcast? There are plenty of black businesses, Will Selby. Black businesses that would pay top dollar to be advertisers. So doing it independently might be the way. And look, we're always talking about owning our platforms. Wendy Williams did not own the Wendy Williams show. Okay? So this is a good next chapter. Own what you do. Don't sell this off to an Apple or Spotify. Hi, guys. Great. However, Wendy Williams needs to, ha needs to have more control in this next chapter of her life. She's done this too long to give this up to other people. Yes, there are benefits to being on Apple or Spotify. They can get you out there immediately. They can get you to the top press. They can get you the top, you know, equipment, all that great stuff. But girl, in this day and age, you can get your own equipment. 
you can get your own advertisement out there. Wendy, we're rooting for you. I'm excited to, to hear it. I'm excited to hear it. Are you guys? Let's continue this conversation below. Are, who do you want to see come on the Wendy Williams sh podcast? Or do you just want it to be Wendy Williams? And how often do you want it to come out? Once a week? Twice a week? Look, look we're already coming up with the schedule. Guys, as always, let's continue this conversation below. Don't forget to get your Pride merch while supplies last. And as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.